Uh, let's have you take a look at this case, if you would kindly, from both sides. Uh, let's start with, with the state's position. Uh, how strong of a case does the state really have in your view against this doctor? I think it's a really difficult case for the state because it, it, one of the things you're going to find that they don't have to prove, but in a case like this, they're really going to need to give the uh, jurors an answer for is motive. Here you have this doctor that in that last segment, we saw how highly decorated he was. Uh, he, he'd had under his care hundreds of different uh, patients who did not die. But then in these instances, patients who were already near death, he prescribed dosages of painkillers that other doctors may disagree with. But it really comes down to why. Why would he do this? It, 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 why would he risk his medical career? Why would he take the lives of these poor folks who are already close to death as it is? And I understand that the prosecution doesn't have to prove that, but I think they're going to have to give the jurors an answer.